Hi. Almost concealed in the avalanche of fawning tributes to murdered MP David Amos in Monday's sitting in the Parliament was a suggestion by the flag-waving Tory MP Marc Francois about creating a David's Law to crack down on social media abuse by anonymous account subscribers directed towards public figures, by which he meant MPs. He wants the pending online harms bill to be draconian, putting people like MPs, members of the House of Lords, royalty above the rest of the population, making them some kind of special breed. It's yet another attack on the rapidly diminishing, almost pitifully non-existent amount of free speech and expression we have here anyway in this country. These MPs are cowards living in a power fueled bubble, unwilling to face up and accept responsibility for their actions, usually detrimental to the majority of us. There is such, there is a deep, justified and growing dislike and distrust of all MPs, some of it boiling over into anger, and they themselves have done much to contribute to the toxic atmosphere. There's nothing that they can do to reverse this. It's too late, has been for a long time. Even to, even to their supporters, they are transparent. Meanwhile, as a touch of light relief, from all this past the sick bag emoting, Nigel Farage is advocating that ex-servicemen be recruited to act as a form of bodyguard and semi-militia to protect and escort MPs. Given that many suffer from post-traumatic stress, mental health problems, drug and alcohol addiction, is this the wisest of suggestions? Let MPs and their ilk live in fear and look over their self-seeking corrupt shoulders, worried about the unexpected. That's what many of us face on a daily basis on the streets of dangerous urban areas that they have created through their legislation and corruption. And if you don't want to abuse them, shun them. Don't enlist them for your campaigns or causes. They simply cannot be trusted on any level. All are liars and power freaks to various degrees, as anybody with an iota of political understanding knows. Bye.